Although some people call it vandalism, for Federico, graffiti is not just an art form or a livelihood. For this 33-year-old artist, painting walls is a calling. I ride my spas, which is in Spanish. I'm Colombian, but I'm adopted from Colombia. And my family, so my family that adopted me is American. So um, for me, it was always kind of like, I've always been interested in my culture, my Colombian culture, which I really don't have any like direct family uh, to. So it's always been kind of important for me to like know more about my Latino culture, about my Colombian culture and, and be part of it and, and then to represent it, you know, and to be there as like maybe a spokesperson for the Latino community and to try to help out the Latino community and, and do what I can do and also um, help out like where I came from, from my orphanage. So that's another thing about Mas Bas. Whenever I do my projects or if I get commissioned to paint something or any kind of income I get, I give 5% back to my orphanage that I came from in, in Bogota, Colombia, called La Casa de la Madre y el Niño. Federico discovered graffiti while in high school and has been captivated by it ever since. I got into graffiti, just wanted to learn more about it. And one of my friends at school, he was like a graffiti writer. So he wrote me an alphabet. Oh, he wrote my name. I was like, wow, so good. And I would try to practice it. I could never do it as good as the way he did it. I just could never do it. And I was maybe in like 10th grade. And I would just practice and practice and draw and draw and just try to get better. And like, ah. And then, um, so that was like maybe 98. But I would never really paint too much in the street, you know, maybe just play around with my friends, do good stuff here and there. Um, but then I really got into, into it when I moved to New York in 2006. And um, I started just seeing graffiti in the streets and I had friends that wrote graffiti and I started getting into it, painting and like, you know, just like painting without permission, you know, just in the streets. After many hours of practice, Federico developed his own style. I always have like a sketchbook on me, you know? Like, so yeah, some people call my style like a, like a contemporary indigenous style, which I think kind of matches, you know, something kind of new, but I also was trying to make it some kind of, trying to bring it back to the essence of who we are and like the, the roots from like where we come from. Um, and I always try to tell a story. There's always a message involved. So there's like a guy that's like part of part of the trees, you know, or part of the jungle or, or of the earth. They're like plants coming out of him. And then, but he's also like a campesino, like a, like a, a jornalero, you know, like a, a day worker. And so from, from the earth, you know, we're able to feed our family and look out for each other and provide for each other. So, so from the plants, it grows him. You know, but he also has his hand extended to, to give thanks to the plant, you know, to the, to the corn, you know, which, which we eat and it's like a daily substance, you know, to survive. And from the plant come, like, can grow like a, grow like new, new life, you know, like a child. So from the plant grows, grows this kid, it's like a child growing from the plant. And within, like, within the kid is like this, uh, like a fish or a, or a whale, you know? So it's all just like a big, like a, it's just kind of like a storyline, just about respecting each other and respecting the world around us. I didn't know what he was talking about. He's and, done uh, so well as Maz Paz man, that he's managed to work full time under his graffiti name, allowing him to do commissioned there. works like this wall or this food truck with personal projects that are closer to his heart. Um, so for me to write my spas in Spanish is something to teach people a little better about my culture and like a language that they may not know. And then let them kind of uh, maybe learn a little bit more about my orphanage or learn more about art or about the community, the Latino community. And, and you know, like to put something positive out into, out into the world, into the community.
I've been back to my orphanage a couple times. Uh, 2005, I was there for about a month and I was volunteering there, just like working with the kids. I would get there at lunchtime and help them eat. You know, some of the kids are like, uh, like little, little babies, you know. They start from a newborn all the way up to about like 11 to 12 years old. And so some kids, they don't know how to eat by themselves, so you would sit down and help them eat, you know, and like food will fall on the ground, and some kids will be crying and stuff, and like some kids take the other kids' food, you know. Um, so I, I would volunteer there from, from like lunchtime to dinner time, or lunchtime till they went to bed, till about like maybe 12 to like 9. Um, and in 2000, I think 2011, I painted a mural in there too. And so I always try to go back and visit. Um, so I look forward to going back this year and visiting um, and giving a donation. I'm about to have an art show to raise money for my orphanage. For this show called Kids, Maz Paz invited over 60 street artists who donated custom made pieces to raise money for his orphanage in Bogota. So I think I spent about a, like a, almost a month just trying to promote it. I like a little bit, you know, just get all my friends, get all the artwork from my friends, from New York, from Texas, from LA, from Miami. Uh, we have pieces come from uh, Canada. So it's just trying to get all that artwork here. Um, but every, just everything worked out good. Just, just, just played it by ear, you know? I did a piece called Talk, um, and it is a piece, um, it's very colorful, it's bright, I wanted it to kind of stand, stand out in, amongst all the other pieces. Um, and it's a simple, kind of fun illustration. Um, I wanted it to, you know, thought about kids when I was doing it. Um, it's a bunch of people having um, conversations, but there's no words. It's just visual conversations, and then there's one person in the middle that's just looking at everyone else, and they're not talking to each other. It's uh, the title of the piece that I submitted, it's called Amazonian, you know, uh, obviously it's, um, it's a series of, uh, of work that I've been working on for the last uh, year or so, and basically it's a series of high, urban hieroglyphics, but with sort of a modern style to it, you know, so um, I thought it was an appropriate piece for, for this occasion, the fact that it's being dedicated to Colombia. I think we had a good turnout, everybody had fun. There's like amazing art on the walls. Um, people learn a little bit about my orphanage and it's about trying to like give, you know? And we're in a neighborhood was predominantly like high income people. So to try to do a show to raise money in a, in a neighborhood like this for, for a neighborhood that's not like that, you know, like thousands of miles away, I think it's really good. Um, I had no idea who would come. <clears throat> I just would try to promote really hard, and I think it worked out really well. The auction was quite a success, allowing Maz Paz to raise over $2,500, which he will deliver to the institution on his next trip to Colombia. It's important for me to go back and just like see where I come from, you know? I think it's important for everybody. So it's been a little while, but I plan to go back uh, in about a month or two.